I tell you, if you haven't got a bolt press, uh, you know, a lot of this stuff is really hard to do. So, I mean, uh, and bolt presses are expensive. That's why we've got, you know, you got local pro shops and stuff that it's got these presses and that's that's what you need to do. Now to put a rope loop on, typically what I like to do, I've already got a cut piece of cord here. This cord is about four and a half inches long. Uh, and what I do, I'll cut them, I get a cigarette lighter and I'll flare that end out real big, just like so. Then I'll light it and what, what I like to do, I like to make a good a good little round ball on the end of the loop, just like so. And then I'll do it on the other side and just make you a nice, nice little round ball. I've seen some guys tie it, tie, it, tie it around there and then when they get it all nice and melted like that, they'll take it and flatten it out. I'm not a big fan of that. When you flatten it out, you're thinning it up the, the hard plastic there that where it's melted and when you flatten it out it has a tendency to pull through so so I like to leave leave mine on there round it's not a big round ball so it's not not real gaudy or nothing like that so okay after it dries you'll take it to your bowstring to start with you can fold your loop until you learn how to do it you can fold your loop like this and then just run both ends through the, the loop that you've got there. You can do it just like just like so. Now once you get it to there, grab the bottom end and just sort of pull it tight down so it tightens up and makes a, makes a loop like so. Now this is where it gets tricky to tie the other part, the bottom side, you'll come to the other side of the string, the opposite side of where you were, go around, go to the inside like so. You get the first loop around there, you'll take the loose end, you'll go to the opposite side of the string. And then you'll take it and pull that loose end up to the inside like so. So that's that's your next step. And once you've got that, you take this and go around the outside and back down. So that's what your that's what it's going to look like, just like so. And then bring it around the string and back up into the loop like that. It's pretty pretty simple. After you do a lot of them, it's, it's easy to do. But like I said, you have to practice a little bit. But like I said, the key to this, to me, is making sure you get those two little round, two little round balls on the end of that cord. And that way you're not going to uh, pull that thing through.